Imagine standing amidst a city bathed in the warm, golden hues of the setting sun. The fiery glow gently kisses the ancient rooftops, casting long shadows that play hide-and-seek with the cobblestone streets. This is Florence at dusk, a city that captivates and enthralls with its breathtaking sunsets. As day eases into night, the city undergoes a transformation. The bustling energy of the day gradually yields to a more tranquil, reflective mood. The sun begins its descent, and the city's skyline, a silhouette of history and culture, becomes a canvas for the most spectacular light show nature has to offer. Look to the west, and you'll see the sun setting behind the iconic Duomo, its copper-green dome glowing in the radiant light. The bell tower, standing tall and proud, is bathed in a soft warm glow that accentuates its intricate details. The sight of these architectural marvels, bathed in the sunset's golden embrace, is nothing short of awe-inspiring. Everywhere you look, the city's historic buildings take on new life. The ancient walls of the Palazzo Vecchio reflect the sunset's colors, turning from a dull stone gray into a vibrant palette of oranges and pinks. The Arno River, a ribbon of water winding its way through the heart of the city, becomes a mirror, reflecting the evening's kaleidoscope of colors. But Florence at sunset is not just a visual feast. It's also an experience for the senses. The air cools, carrying with it the scent of fresh blooms from the city's many gardens. The sounds of the day fade away, replaced by the gentle rustling of leaves and the distant tolling of church bells. As the sun sets, Florence transitions from a vibrant historical city into a magical romantic dreamscape. But this is just the beginning of our journey into this enchanting Italian city. Our story begins in the heart of Europe, where a spark of creativity ignited the Renaissance, forever changing the course of history. Picture a city nestled in the lush Tuscan hills, a city that was once the beating heart of an era that redefined art, culture, and human perception. This is Florence, the birthplace of the Renaissance, a period of great cultural change and achievement that began in Italy during the 14th century and lasted until the 17th century. Florence, or Firenze as it's known to the Italians, was the epicenter of this intellectual revival. The city's political and economic power made it fertile ground for the kind of cultural rebirth that would eventually spread throughout Europe. The Renaissance was a time of exploration, discovery, and most importantly, humanism. It was a time when people began to look at the world around them with fresh eyes, questioning the status quo and seeking to understand the natural world and human experience. Many of the era's most influential figures called Florence home. Artists like Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci, who pushed the boundaries of art with their innovative techniques and focus on human emotion and natural beauty. Their works, such as Michelangelo's David and da Vinci's Annunciation, remain timeless masterpieces that continue to captivate audiences centuries later. And let's not forget Dante, the father of the Italian language, whose divine comedy remains one of the most important works of world literature. His influence on the Italian language is so profound that it's often referred to as the language of Dante. But it wasn't just art and literature that flourished during the Renaissance. This was also a time of scientific discovery. Thinkers like Galileo Galilei challenged the established order, ushering in a new era of scientific thought. In essence, Florence was a cradle of creativity and intellectual pursuit, a city where ideas were as freely traded as goods, and where the boundaries of what was thought possible were continually pushed and expanded. Florence, a cradle of art and culture, was instrumental in shaping the world as we know it today. The city of Florence is an open-air museum, its streets narrating tales of its illustrious past. Now let's turn our attention to the city's unique architecture that stands as a testament to its vibrant history. You see, Florence is often dubbed as the City of Stone, and for good reason. The cityscape is a patchwork of stone structures, each with its own tale to tell. Picture the magnificent Duomo, the city's iconic cathedral. Its grand dome, the largest brick dome ever constructed, is a marvel to behold. Designed by Filippo Brunelleschi, this architectural feat was a bold statement of Florence's wealth and power during the Renaissance. The cathedral's elaborate facade of pink, white, and green marble is a sight to behold, capturing the essence of Florentine grandeur. Then, there's the Ponte Vecchio, a medieval stone bridge that's more than just a crossing over the Arno River. It's lined with shops, as was common in days of old. But what sets it apart is its continuous occupation by goldsmiths and jewelers, a tradition that breathes life into its ancient stones. Not far from the bridge stands the Palazzo Vecchio, a fortress-like town hall that's been the symbol of civic power in Florence since the 14th century. Its towering structure and ornate chambers reflect the influence of the Medici family, the dynasty that ruled Florence during its golden age. 
The Medicis were great patrons of the arts and architecture, their legacy shaping the city we see today. Every corner of Florence, every stone carries the weight of history. From the cobblestone streets to the towering monuments, they all whisper tales of the city's past. They speak of the rise and fall of families, of power struggles, of artistic triumphs. They bear the marks of time, weathered yet enduring, much like the city itself. Every stone in Florence has a story to tell, a testament to the city's rich, vibrant history. And as you wander its streets, you're not just a visitor, but a part of the ongoing narrative that is Florence, the city of stone. In Florence, history isn't just found in its buildings, but also in its cuisine. Picture this, a city where every bite you take is a journey through time, where the culinary traditions are steeped in centuries of history. That's Florence for you. The city's cuisine is as rich and diverse as its past, offering a unique blend of flavors that are distinctively Florentine. Let's start with the Bistecca alla Fiorentina, or Florentine steak. This isn't just a steak, it's an institution. Made from the region's Chinina cattle, it's charred on the outside, rare on the inside, and traditionally served on a wooden platter. The Florentine steak is a testament to the city's respect for its local produce and its commitment to preserving its culinary heritage. It isn't just a meal, it's a celebration of the city's history and culture. But Florence isn't all about meat. The city's vegetable-focused dishes are just as noteworthy. Take ribolita, for instance. A hearty soup made from bread, vegetables, and beans, ribolita is a dish born out of necessity. It was created by servants who collected leftovers from their master's feasts to create a filling meal. Today, it's a symbol of the city's resourcefulness and creativity, a testament to the Florentines' ability to turn simple ingredients into something extraordinary. And of course, no discussion about Florentine cuisine would be complete without mentioning gelato. Florence is the birthplace of this delicious treat, and it's not hard to see why. The city's gelaterias are renowned for their fresh, high-quality ingredients and the vast array of flavors they offer. From classic favorites like chocolate and vanilla to innovative combinations like lavender and honey, gelato in Florence is a sensory delight. In Florence, food isn't just sustenance, it's a story. A story of the city's past, its traditions, and its people. Every dish, every ingredient, is a piece of the city's history, a testament to the Florentines' enduring love for their city and their cuisine. Florentine cuisine, much like its history, is a sensory experience that leaves you yearning for more. As the sun dips below the horizon, Florence comes alive in a whole new light. The city that birthed the Renaissance doesn't merely retire to slumber as dusk falls. Instead, it transforms, shedding its daytime persona of a historical marvel to reveal a vibrant, pulsating nightlife that's as captivating as its storied past. The narrow, cobbled streets, once echoing the footsteps of artists like Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci, now resound with the merriment and laughter of locals and visitors alike. The city's wine bars and traditional taverns beckon the curious and the thirsty, offering a taste of Tuscany's renowned wines and an authentic Italian aperitivo, a delightful ritual of enjoying drinks with light snacks that's quintessentially Florence. The city's culinary delights don't simply end with dinner. Gelaterias serve up creamy, artisanal gelato even late into the night, a sweet reminder of Italy's love affair with food. But Florence isn't just about quiet, cozy corners, it's lively clubs, pulsating with energy, are a testament to this. DJs spin tracks that set the rhythm of the night while the crowd dances, each beat a tribute to the city's enduring zest for life. Yet, the city's nightlife isn't merely about indulgence. It's a reflection of Florence's deep-rooted love for the arts. The city's theaters, brimming with culture and elegance, host an array of performances, from opera to contemporary dance, a testament to the city's rich artistic heritage. And let's not forget the thriving music scene, Street musicians fill the air with melodies, their tunes a vibrant soundtrack to the city's nocturnal charm. From impromptu jazz performances to classical serenades, each note is a tribute to Florence's symphony of cultures, its blend of the old and new. Nighttime in Florence is a symphony of experiences, a celebration of its timeless charm and modern vibrancy. The city that once hosted the greatest minds of the Renaissance now invites you to be a part of its enchanting nights, a testament to its enduring allure. Florence, a city steeped in history and culture, continues to captivate the hearts of those who visit. This city, imbued with the spirit of the Renaissance, is a testament to human creativity and ingenuity. Its sunsets, a breathtaking spectacle of nature's artistry, are a sight to behold. As the sun descends, its golden rays bathe the city, 
illuminating the architectural marvels and stone facades, casting an ethereal glow that makes Florence seem as though it's suspended between the pages of history and the promise of tomorrow. The birthplace of the Renaissance, Florence is a city that reverberates with the echoes of history. It is here that great minds like Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and Dante Alighieri once roamed, leaving an indelible imprint on the world. The city stands as a monument to their genius, a living museum adorned with their masterpieces, a tribute to the timeless allure of human creativity. Florence's architecture is a testament to the city's past, a story etched in stone. The red-tiled roofs, the narrow cobblestone streets, the towering cathedrals, and the iconic Ponte Vecchio Bridge all speak of a time when Florence was the heart of cultural and intellectual life in Europe. Yet Florence is not just a city trapped in time. It's a city that celebrates life with a gusto that is palpably infectious. The cuisine of Florence, a smorgasbord of flavors and aromas, is a culinary journey that tantalizes the senses. From the hearty ribolita soup to the decadent gelato, every bite is a celebration of life. As night descends, the city transforms into a vibrant playground. The streets come alive with music and laughter, as locals and tourists alike revel in the city's lively nightlife, creating memories that last a lifetime. Florence, with its timeless allure and enduring charm, is more than just a city. It's a living, breathing testament to the human spirit's creativity and resilience. From dawn to dusk, Florence continues to inspire, enchant, and captivate, a city that truly embodies the beauty of life.